the major problem we are facing in this country now, now I like Kassan. You know now, I like and uh, Yakub Mahmud. Hey, Yakub Mahmud now I like now. So which one is I like? Am I? Yakub Mahmud now I like. So when I say I like, you should know where I'm coming from. Yakub Mahmud. Now he put us for this condition because the will of the people was subverted. Yes, I say it with my full chest. Oh yes, that is why we are suffering. And now people are beginning to bring up ideas on how to, on how not to make INEC repeat what they did the last time. Oh yes. And among such people, when I know I'm now, former minister of aviation, Osi Tachi Doka. Uh -huh. He's a member of the PDP. Yeah, uh -huh. a long-standing member of the PDP. Uh -huh. But no good looker from that area say and a PDP so he must speak against the APC government. No. In fact, he's not even speaking against any government. Him now. Don't suggest him. Say. Now so our election supposed to be going forward. And his own submission, if you take a very well, now the submission of virtually everybody in this country. So that we're gonna say eh, if we if we get bad government, we're gonna say eh, now we now now we put on there. Yeah. Man, uh -huh. I will not go to the protest because if you look at where hey, now you now we put on there now make you do as you want. I I, I get it. Let us listen to Ostachidoka on how to make our elections better going forward because <laughs> 2027. Kind of Let us watch uh, Ostachidoka and what he have to say. Watch. Okay, so the first one, let me take it at the polling unit. I think we should deepen the use of technology at the polling unit. Um, two things should happen. The Beavers has an accreditation module and it has a collation module. Mm -hmm. If I got INEC right and yeah. when they explained it to us first. So I think they should activate the collation module. What that means is that after the votings are done, they should enter the results into the Beavers, party by party, and the agents can sign on the Beavers and then they should enter it manually so that you will have a paper trail of what happened. Now, the one on the beavers will not allow you to inflate results because if the total number is more than the accredited voters, it shouldn't allow you to compute. Mm -hmm. So the worst you can do is to be able to maybe redistribute the votes, but you should be able to enter votes that tally with the accreditation mm -hmm. because without accreditation, there is no voting. So I think we should do that, number one. Number two is that there should be visibility about the presiding officers and the coalition officers. What it is like is you are a fuel petroleum um, trader and you have a tanker and you buy um, petrol products. So now it is at almost it's, it's 700 naira. So once you buy 33,000 liters, you know how much money is involved. And then you give it to the driver. Once the driver leaves the fuel station, all that your money is in the hands of the driver. The whole of Nigeria's election expectations are in the hands of the presiding officers and the coalition officers. So we need to have visibility about who they are. So the INEC should publish on their website, pulling unit by pulling unit, the names of the people and who are going they are registering to be, them, they yes. have their photographs. Photographs, also. yes. They should register them, put them there with their photographs and say, this is the presiding officer, the assistant presiding officer, and this is the coalition officer for your And then sometimes so, their details, their phone number, everything is there. Is there? Yes, so sometimes. If you have yes. all of these things, yes. I think, yes. and Nigerians should be aware, should, that's why that people to own accounts is not direct. No, the not direct. Chairman, not the no. chairman. No, 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 no. Because and those they, guys are away from and the field. INEC chairman cannot give any instruction from Abuja to the INEC people in Enugu because they don't know him. They don't care about him. Yeah. So what is happening there is the local issues are driving it. But once you've that soldiers. visibility, yeah. and the political parties are a major disaster in Nigeria because the political parties have not developed the mechanism to have proper pulling unit agents mm -hmm. who will enter the results and also hold the agents. And because you ask yourself, uh, if, your party, if, if those uh, the reason why party agents are there is supposed to double check on behalf of the party, they're supposed the to sign eyes it, so. and the ears of the they're party sign it. on the ground. And if they sign also, it means that they agree to they agree to what happened. Exactly. So I believe that there is need for visibility. There is need for accountability. Now there is need for the INEC form to contain what I call an affidavit section where the electoral officer should swear to sign that the results i am entering here mm -hmm. are the valid and correct and i'm liable for prosecution in the event they are found not to be so i think that there is need for that right. at the pulling unit level we need to at the collection level yeah i think we should do that but more importantly yeah. and this is quite fundamental
INEC has power to review results within seven days. I think that mechanism has not been used by INEC. They should be able to review what the beavers has against what has been entered and make sure they cancel all the appropriate results that needs to be cancelled. The seven-day review yeah. should not just only be INEC. It should be a hearing where the parties will tender their evidence of what right. they think went wrong and INEC should review right. and make that happen. And finally, I think that we should ensure that we go back to Justice Uwe's report mm -hmm. and the Election Offenses Tribunal should be set up. I believe we should contain, more importantly, and this is critical, all swearing in must be finished. All the petitions must end before swearing, swearing in. in. We must make sure that nobody takes advantage of the lacuna in the election. These are major, warning, major reform, and then before reforms they go in. Yes, for the election. For the election. And, you know, and yeah. I believe also we should scan the results, all the digital, all the paper ballots. They should appoint election auditors to scan the results. But before we get there, people should not be sworn in until the election results are done. Right. There should be an electoral offenses result. Yeah. And, we need to go and then INEC must upload the form EC8B, the coalition report. Mm -hmm. The way they upload the EC8A yes, on yeah. the IRA, yeah. once they finish EC8B, they should upload it. Right. So people can cross-check mm -hmm. that what was in EC8A yeah. is what made it to EC8B. Plus, they must upload the BVAS report. We shouldn't wait for a freedom of information request Before to see what the BVAS are credited. Exactly. Every e BVAS machine should right. automatically upload the number we're, of people it's totally out of time. On a hearing, uh -huh. uh, the law, the lawmakers and INEC, they thought it well and they brought in the idea of BVAS. But they are not maximizing the usefulness of that BVAS. To save Nigerians from bad government. They are not too. Because they want to remain there for life. How can you involve technology? And in the middle of the game. You shift the technology aside. And go back to Manwa. After wasting millions of Naira. If not billions. For that technology. When I hear the statue of He said look. We must maximize the beavers. Accredited voters, electoral officers, the returning officers, their details, everything must be with, it must be published before the election. As we do manual collation, we they do electronic collation. Everything must tally. Any old mistake, they will go know. Then to come crown them on, on a here now. Uh, both returning officers and the electoral officers, those ones that are in the field conducting the election. There should be a column where they will sign affidavits. Now look, what I am entering, the figures and data I am entering, is correct. And if found that it is not correct in the nearest future, I should be liable to prison. Maybe the signer. Who signed I can't you know, say don't sign in death warrant. It could do better. Are you getting it? These are the things that we are supposed to do. And make sure that our elections are free and fair. And then, whoever that we elect, if the person starts to misbehave, we're going to say, eh, now we elect them. Uh -huh. Then, the issue is that the Indaboski Baho said, the Lepre Lamande, according to the Lepre Lamande of them all is that before any swearing will happen, let all pending cases be resolved in court. Let all tribunals end before swearing in. Because you can't say in ma in ma you can't use power of incumbents. You don't enter, you don't enter. How you want to push and come out? Let all cases be decided before swearing in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't beat that. All cases were decided before swearing in. When I just said to move for the for that place. No now. But the first one I'm in, so he had access to the resources of the country. So he can maneuver it to his own advantage. And that was exactly what happened in the last tribunal. Oh, yes. Are you getting the point? So this is how to make it clear and make it better. But I get where? My heart where now? They go agree. They no go agree. But if we, the Nigerian people, stand up, on our own grass and say, now so we want to make it be. Anyhow it be, we go put head. It go better. I, 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 I get some it. Whatever, we, if we like, let us protest from now to tomorrow, if we don't get our electoral process right, what is happening will keep happening. 
and there is nothing, absolutely nothing anybody can do about it. I go see on later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.